Okay, for Shark Week, we're gonna have four awesome shark videos. First, we got the Deep Sea Shark Research Place It. And then the Animal Planner It Tiger Shark Encounter. Big huge box full of shark and marine animals. And an awesome shark game. Keep watching. Giant Mosasaurus from Jurassic World First Tiger Shark and Humans Who is going to be the winner? Wow, keep watching to find out Wow guys, it's great to see you again We have an awesome huge set today This is Animal Planet's Deep Sea Shark Research Place Set Oh, this thing is huge Comes with two figures, a huge ship, a shark cage, bunch of accessories, a boat, a bunch of sharks. Wow. Check this out. It has a working crane and a power launcher. And here's a good look at the back of it. So there you got the working crane. You got the cage on the deck. The shark cage there. The shark cage would go inside the ship, uh, lower it into the water, firing net, lights and sounds, power launcher, working crane. Wow! <laughs> this is a huge set. Let's open it up. So, here is what's in the package before I go ahead and remove anything. Wow! This is one huge set, guys. Okay, guys, this set is so huge, I really don't know where to start. So I think I'm gonna check out the accessories and sharks and all that stuff, and then we will go to the ship last. So let's first of all check out this awesome tiger shark and he does have an action feature so if you push down the button he does open and close his mouth this is a really weird looking guy I mean the tiger shark does have his eyes here at the ends and you can see he put a big huge mouth on this so this is a really good size shark so I like that one and then they gave uh, some smaller sharks and they gave some smaller sharks here and an even smaller uh, shark here so cool they gave you three sharks and then it comes with this little I don't know if this would be like a life lifeboat or a dinghy or something like that you could put the uh, the guys fit right inside they could drive it. it has some type of a weapon system here on the front so that's pretty cool and then let's check out then they have an awesome shark cage so your divers will fit right into the shark cage to protect them from sharks and they will both fit in there so that's really cool go ahead close the door got a little hook here the crane there on the ship could raise and lower this and then let's check out some accessories so this one comes with like a big uh, rescue kit it doesn't open up or anything but you can uh, attach this to the ship it comes with two uh, like life rings it comes with a bunch of smaller animals here that uh, judging by their color I believe they glow if you put it in light so big fish here octopus another evil looking fish an eel uh turtle and then it comes with a lot of accessories which is very normal for these animal planet set you have the flippers oxygen tank you have this to wear over your vest uh this to i guess grab stuff with flashlight camera I'm not really sure what that is and then you have two uh, figures. I mean, they are a little generic looking, but this is actually the first time that Animal Planet has included a female in its sets that I've seen. I mean, if earlier uh, sets had females, uh, let me know. So, 
there is a look at the uh, two people. And now let's take a look at the ship. Okay, one of the things I really like about this ship is if you roll it, it has like uneven wheels. So when you roll it, it looks like it's bobbing up and down on the ocean, which is really cool. So it does have three big wheels on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna start with this top part here. This has lights and sounds. So the four blue here light up and flash in different sequences. That is the alarm klaxon. And the radar dish that twirls around. And this is also removable, so if you want to remove it, simply unclip it, take it off right there. Then you have the big antenna array up here, and this also does open up here, so you have a nice open cockpit there where you could put your divers inside so that is really cool this would be like I guess that would be like the uh, where the captain drives the ship and then it does have a uh, firing uh, net launcher which is really cool nice big one it moves up and down and to fire it, you simply push right there and off your net goes. Nice big open area up here for your uh, divers to stand in. Okay, then moving on to the operating crane. You could have one diver here operating it and the other one, uh, if you put the cage, you could have one of the divers in the cage. Well, let's first of all go ahead and take a look at this. So this is a big like claw system here so you could use this to pick up let's say a shark from the water so you could even pick up this big oh if I clip it in there right you could pick up this big shark here yes yeah, see you could pick up the big shark uh, move it around in there the uh, crane does rotate all the way to the different ends of the ship so that's really cool then you simply go ahead and release it uh, the other cool thing is it is an actual working crane so if you push the button up here the crane will lower and then when it winds up it winds up inside it doesn't wind up on the exterior so that's nice because it makes it less easier to break and get all tangled up. So, like I said, real working winch there. Really cool. And then also, you could go ahead and remove this. It's simply sitting here on a hook. And if you want, just go ahead and put in the diver's cage here. So, now you could lower the diver's cage just simply push the release button lower it and then when it's time to lift it up go ahead and turn it crank it back up also and then the uh, cage does go ahead and fit right here on the ship and then uh, looking around the ship you have four lights here you've got this net system here that goes up and down a uh, big hook here at the end for pulling different stuff. And let's check out the other side. So they do a nice job decorating it on both sides. Some of these uh, toys, they only decorate one side. And then on the bottom, it says, Toys R Us. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and have an awesome adventure with this ship.
Ha ha! Boy, we're gonna capture all these sharks and slaughter them and sell them and make lots of money! Cool! Whoa, there's one! Shoot it with the net! Here it goes! Got him! Quick, lower the cage! Dropping the claw now! Ha! Got him! Quick, hoist him up! Oh boy, that's gonna bring us a lot of money there. Oh yeah! We're gonna be rich after this haul! Hey Tom, how about you go down on the, in the cage, see if you can find anything down there. We need more sharks to make more money. Sounds great! Here I go! Ready to go! Hoist me up! Wow! There's a sunken pirate ship down here! Should be lots of sharks here we could take down. Cool! Huh? What was that? What? I thought I'd seen something. Honey, you sure there's no nothing bigger than sharks down here? Yeah, I'm sure. There's nothing bigger than sharks down there. You're perfectly safe. Okay. Boy, we're sure gonna get rich capturing all these sharks. Sweet. Wow, after we slaughter all of them, we'll make tons of money. Wow, there's maybe treasure in here. I'm going in. Okay, just look out for those giant sharks down there. <laughs> giant sharks. You're such a kidder. What? I thought I seen something up there. Wow, what was that? Honey, there's something big down here. Oh, don't be such a chicken. There's nothing there. What? I tell you, there's something down here. What? Nothing there. Honey, I'm getting out of here. Something is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, you're such a chicken. Oh, there's treasure in this ship. I can feel it in my bones. Wow, we are going to get rich. We're going to make lots of money. I'm coming up, dear. We're going to take these sharks down. We're going to... Ah. Honey, what's going on down there? What was that? What did I hear? I'm coming down. You better not be playing another one of your tricks on me. You do this all the time. Honey, you down here somewhere? Huh. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe he found the treasure and he took off. Oh well. I guess more for me. Wow, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be. can't see anything. What was that? Something bumped the ship. Oh no. 
I see some kind of shadow there. What is it? Okay, you guys, super excited today. Another awesome Animal Planet set. This is Tiger Shark Encounter. Comes with a tiger shark, a smaller shark, a figure, a bunch of accessories, and a tiny little submarine. Cutting through the decks now. Guys, I seen something. Something's moving down here. Something big. Wow. I can't tell what it is. It's too dark. Which is not good, guys. Something's got the sub! Oh no! Shaking me to pieces! Gonna try to surface, guys. Oh no, he's broken through. Guys, I'm getting out of here. I'm. Uh... Found his sub, guys. It's empty. We got some kind of message from him about digging through the deck and then everything just went all fuzzy. I'm gonna explore this place, check it out, see if we can find the treasure. Found an opening guys, I'm going in. Wow oh, guys, it sure is dark in here, I can't see anything. What was that? Something bumped the ship. Oh no. See some kind of shadow there. What is it? Okay, guys, I'm down in the hold of the ship right now. Let me turn on my light, see if I see anything. Dudes, I found the treasure! Sweet! We are rich, man! Haha, <laughs> it's celebration time! Guys, there's something here. Maybe that was Jim's message. Uh, guys, I'm surfacing. Coming up now. So this has got my tank. Oh, it's a giant shark. Guys, I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Strange static coming from your radio. Bob, are you here, Bob? Huh. Guys, I've not seen anybody down here. Been all over the place, guys. I see nothing.
And here's what it looks like on the back. This would be when it's uh, all set up and the figure in the submarine. And here is some extra information on the set if you want to read that. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, and this is what's in the box before I take anything out of it. Okay, guys, we're going to start uh, taking a look at this first with the sub. I mean, this is a really cool mini sub. Uh, this is the first... Uh, mini sub I've seen in any set I've opened up so it's really cool it's got like numbers on the front the front moves this is like a saw here that will turn and then here you've got like the arms that grasp stuff uh, you could turn it but it's not it doesn't open and close and uh, the really cool thing is that the figure actually fits in here so you open the cockpit here and you've got the figure you can see he fits right into the submarine there. The propeller in the back does move. And then let's take a look at the figure himself. So uh, he's a diver. I'm going to go ahead and put the accessories on him. Okay, so here is the guy uh, fully accessorized. It comes with like a, a big like underwater, like some type of an air rifle. Comes with a knife, goggles, a tank for the back, uh, flippers. His arms and legs uh, do uh, bend and move, so he does fit into that submarine like you've seen earlier. Uh, there is his air tank and the look at the back of him. His knife could actually fit into uh, right on his leg there. And then the other accessories, it comes with a flashlight and a camera. So then it does come with a small tiger shark. So I guess you could like consider this one like a baby tiger shark. And then you've got the mama. So the mother tiger shark is considerably bigger than the baby. And she's got a cool action feature. If you push down on her fin here, her mouth opens and closes. So that is really cool looking. Okay, and then uh, going on around... Uh, this one they didn't do as great of a job coloring. You could see uh, the red bled into the teeth. Unless they're trying to make it look like blood. Which is possible. But you can see it does give a double row of teeth there. Sharks do have multiple rows of teeth. So when they lose one, the one in the back moves up. Uh, little tiny black eyes. A gray and black color scheme. Which is nice. And then the rest of it is, is just a, uh, the rest of it is just a plastic toy. It's not rubber or anything. So uh, this would be a good toy for like a uh, bathtub action or something. So if your kids want to take this in the bathtub, I don't see any. There's not really anything mechanical that would prevent that. So there we go. Awesome fun set. Wow, guys, keep watching as we unbox and set up all these awesome creatures. Dinosaur related from Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Safari, Animal Planet, Safari Limited, 
in our awesome dinosaur zoo. Wow, guys, great to see you again. Today, I have a box full of aquatic creatures and monsters, including the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. So here I have from Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Animal Planet, Safari Limited. Wow, let's go ahead and check them out. Okay, guys, our underwater park is all set up for our giant sea creatures. Wow, we have the sunken pirate ship waiting for them. And uh, guys, I do apologize. Uh, this se week seems a little rushed. I had to, uh, I'm making you guys videos of like all my collections because I am preparing for the New York uh, Toy Fair. Uh, Mattel did invite me to uh, review all their Jurassic World 2 toys from the Fallen Kingdom. So I'll be making uh, awesome videos of those in February. So you'll be able to see them probably first here on my channel. So stay tuned. Okay, so our first one is a tiger shark from Animal Planet. Okay, so our first one is Animal Planet Shark. This guy has a biting feature if you push him here. He is a tiger shark. Really nice, big looking, cool tiger shark. Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. Okay, and my next one is, the next two actually are the coolest of my collection. I have two Mosasauruses that were made by an artist in Thailand. So super detail, all acrylic, individually made teeth, everything is hand painted and totally awesome. Check out the detail on this guy. And they come with a really cool water base. Ah, uh, if you want to see the full unboxing, and I got quite a few battles with this guy, go to the end of this video and check out my Jurassic World playlist, or go to my channel. I have a bunch of playlists, over a thousand videos of Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Animal Planet, King Kong, Godzilla, so they are awesome. Mosasaurus, Jurassic World. Mosasaurus, Jurassic World. Okay, and our next one is the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. This guy is totally awesome. Uh, if you guys have been looking for this guy, I apologize because he is super expensive to buy. This, get, this set's going for about $170 on eBay now. But it's really cool. It has a strike feature here. If you hit it, it opens up. You see a gruesome wound inside. The flippers move. Uh, it, has a, it had an action feature here where if you pull down the flipper here, this guy would open and close his mouth like this if you pulled the flipper. But... It, it broke inside, so I have not been able to find another one, so I'm disappointed in that. But it is a really cool set. It comes with, uh, like, the uh, a submarine and everything in it. So, you can compare this guy to my custom-made ones. Great White Shark Animal Planet. And then we have an Animal Planet Great White Shark. Push this guy's fin and he opens and closes his mouth, chomping down on anything. Ah, he's got my fingers. Somebody quick, help me. So really cool, nice big teeth, lots of wounds all over. Like I said, Ian, any of these you want to see unboxed, uh, go ahead to my channel and check out my playlist. Over 1,000 videos, guys. Killer Whale or Orca Animal Planet. And then we have the Killer Whale or Orca. 
A lot of you guys know this guy as Shamu if you guys have been to SeaWorld. So if you push his fin here, he does open close his mouth. Really cool looking teeth. This was made by Animal Planet. Really good detail. You can see like wounds and scrapes all over. He's got his uh, blowhole on top because he is a whale. So whales do have that big blowhole on top. Elasmosaurus. Animal Planet. And then the Animal Planet Elasmosaurus. His action feature is if you push the button on top here, he does dip his head. You could turn his head into different positions all the way around. So you could have him dipping his head sort of like that. But it's cooler. You do it forward because this guy could grab stuff in his teeth and chop them. So I got some cool action videos on this guy. Really cool, nice big flippers, big body. Here is the button for the action feature. So really cool. Alas, Mosaurus. Giant Gator, Animal Planet. And then a really nice big animal planet gator. You can see the size of this guy. This is a remote control gator, so when you uh when you're driving him, his tail whips back and forth like that and his legs move up and down. So it looks like he's actually running or if you have it on a blue surface like he's swimming through the water. Uh, I don't have the remote right now so I can't show you but if you go and put in uh, WD Toys Animal Planet uh, Alligator this one should be the first one that pops up. Nice huge big teeth. Really cool detail. Anglerfish Animal Planet. Animal Planet Anglerfish this is the big huge one if you've seen uh, Finding Dory or the first Finding Nemo movie where uh, it's totally dark and then they just see a light and then they come up and then the light lights up this huge guy with his big evil wicked looking teeth. So he lures fish and other creatures in with the light and then chop it's all over. So really cool, huge, big fish. These parts of him here are see-through. So if you look at it with light behind it, you can see right through it. So this guy is awesome. Mosasaurus, Jurassic World. Jurassic World, plush Mosasaurus. So this guy is really cute, super soft, big, huge teeth yellow eyes but he does not look very fearsome this guy looks soft and cuddly Caprasuchus Safari Limited and then we have a Safari Limited Caprasuchus this guy is cool he's almost like part dinosaur part Gator. He's got like a gator body, almost like a dinosaur type head and legs. So, uh, Safari Limited does a great job with the models. They Most of them don't have any type of interactivity. You can't close or open the mouth, so most of them. But it's really cool, uh, detail looking dinosaur toys. Giant Pike from Animal Planet. And then we have an Animal Planet Pike. So this guy's action feature is if you push down on his fin here, he opens and closes his mouth. As you can see, he's really nice, big, detailed looking fish. This comes with the uh, Animal Planet submarine set. So I did a full review and action sequence with that. Really cool looking. Mosasaurus Chomper Jurassic World A little Chomper Mosasaurus from Jurassic World These are uh, the, 
the guys with the uh, oversized heads for their bodies, their head is almost as big as their body. His action feature is if you push his fin here, he moves his tail and he opens and closes his bow. So as you could tell, I really like Mosasaur Dinosaur Toys. Tylosaurus Safari Limited. And then a Safari Limited Tylosaurus. You can see once again, this guy is big. He's got like tiger stripes on him. Really cool looking eyes and teeth. Like I said, Safari Limited does a great job with their models. Most of them, like I said earlier, are not interactive, but if you want to uh, play with these guys or set up some type of a model, they work great. Alligator, Animal Planet. And then another Animal Planet Gator. He's got an action button here. If you push it, he chomps his mouth open and close. So you could have this guy. A fish is just swimming by. Ah, no! And he's got the fish. Wow. Super cool looking gator. Check him out. Arms, his legs move and everything. And Chronosaurus Safari Limited. And then finally we have a Safari Limited Chronosaurus. This guy is huge. Super nice, heavy, durable creature. Really cool. Ah, uh, his mouth, you could stick your finger in a pretty good amount, but it does stop about here. The rest of this is a super detailed heavy cool looking creature okay guys so now it's time to set up our awesome underground dinosaur zoo okay our first ones we are going to set up are gonna be the two mosasaurs one on either side of the ship here and then we're gonna set up the elasmosaurus right back there we have to set the big ones in the back first so we have room for all of them the great white shark is going to be right here on the ship and then we have our other mosasaurus which will be right above this one almost like this one wants to eat him and then our angler fish is going to go out over there our plush mosasaurus could go in the back over there and then we have one killer whale which could go over here and we also have our tylosaurus right over there the other killer whale is gonna go with that one over there our pike could go here on the ship also right next to the big shark over there. Our big gator is gonna go right over here. And then we have our tiger shark and our smaller gator over here. And we've got the chronosaurus back there. We need room still for the Tylosaurus and this tiny little For the dinosaurs play Catch the Fox, Goliath Games sent me this huge box full of awesome games. We're going to go ahead and take a look at each one of these. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Catch the Fox. And then they sent me Fish Food. Feed the fish to get rid of your cards. And they sent me the brand new Doggy Do game. They improved it from the last one. And then they sent me 
Shark Bite, Snag the Fish, and Be the Winner. Awesome. And finally, they sent me the original Mr. Bucket. Cool. So we'll take a look at all these games once the dinos are done playing. Okay, so besides the dinosaurs playing the Doggy Doo game, we've got this also shark bite game that Goliath Games was nice enough to go ahead and send me. So let's go ahead and take it out of the package and check out how it works. Okay, so guys, you got this big, huge, awesome shark. First thing you do is push it down until it clicks and locks into place with the mouth open. And then you have the fish here, which you're going to go ahead and push into the holes in the base of the mouth. So now you have two fishing pools and you have a dice. So you're going to roll the dice and the dice will show how many fish you have to catch. So here I rolled and I've got two fish. So you go ahead and you take your fishing pool here and you're going to pull out two fish. One, <laughs> that shark mouth slam shot is going to get you. And two, awesome. And then the next person would go and you would keep on going to see. Oh, I dropped that one. Who activates the shark's mouth. And then whoever has the most fish wins. But this is a close-up look at what happens. So basically this guy is down. And then wham! Oh no! Ah! Okay, and then next we have fish food. It says feed the fish to get rid of the cards. You're a winner. I'm the talking fish with this little perk. Cool. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Okay, so you got this cool fish and all these other parts. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and we will see how it works. Okay, so to play the game, you're going to put the batteries in the fish, then you're going to turn the fish on, you're going to put it on the base over here, and if it's four player, I'll ask if you're ready to play. So it knows how many players then. Then you have to hurry up, put cards in. Oh, I was too late. And then I'll bring it and spit it out to another player. And whoever gets rid of all their cards is the winner. Although you don't have much time.
Yeah, it's hilarious. Oh. Oh boy, that guy in the back there is having bad luck. <laughs> Number two is having really bad luck. Okay, so that's all the cards. So like I said, uh, you all get the same amount of cards depending on how many players and... You gotta put the card in its mouth. Whoever gets rid of all their cards is the winner. So it's it's a really fun game. Okay, then our final one is Mr. Bucket. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Okay, then with this game, you got a bucket here. You got four different colored scoops and you get the same ball as the scoop. So each of you guys got three balls and since this is yellow scoop, I would use the yellow scoop to pick up the yellow ball and drop it into Mr. Bucket. But almost as fast as you could put it in, Mr. Bucket is going to spit it out and the point of the game is to get all three balls into Mr. Bucket. So I'm just going to work with one ball. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on and hopefully he won't run off of the table I have here, which he might. Okay, so if you're yellow, go ahead and scoop up the yellow ball. Blue, scoop up the blue ball. See, he spits the balls out. And then you scoop them up, and whoever gets all three balls into him is the winner. to play against the dinos, Dominus Rex, and two of the T-Rexes. But first of all, we have to take out the doggy food, which is also the doggy poop. And oh, it feels really gross. I mean, check that out. Oh, man. It's like some type of super slime or something. So basically, you would take it and mold it into the shape this container and then we have to feed the doggy so lift up the doggy put this into his mouth oh that feels really gross and then we're gonna take the bone here and push it in and you leave the bone too because that plugs this end of the doggy and now we are ready to play, so I will go first. So I gotta roll the dice. Actually, let's pass out the shovels first. I will take blue, T Rex will take purple, orange T Rex will take green, and Indominus will take red. Okay, and I believe we are ready to go, so I will roll the dice again, and I've got a three, so I'm going to pump it three times. Oh. Oh, man. That is gross. Okay, it's Rexy's turn. Oops, he's got a one. Oh, it's getting close. It's my turn. My turn. Okay, here it goes. 
He's got a three, so he's... Oh, it's coming. Check it out, guys. And the third one. Oh, it's out. <laughs> it's winning. Okay, now it's the king's turn. Oh, he's got a three. Oh, what was that? That wasn't me, man. It wasn't me. Yeah, right. Okay, let's see. Two. Three. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, again, man. That was Rexy. Now it's my turn. Let's see. Oh, I got a one. Okay. Oh, that was gross. Okay, it's Rexy's turn. Okay, he's got it too. One, two. Oh, that wasn't me, that was Rexy. What, what you talking about, man? That was not me. That's the orange Rex's turn. Oh, he's got a two. Pump it twice. Oh man, that was a close one. Yeah, yeah, it's my turn again. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got a two. That looks. <laughs> oh man, keep it down there. That is that that came from you man that was not me no way oh man must have been the velociraptor you ate last night no it wasn't me man okay two bombs one oh it's a coming and two oh that's not fair man <laughs> I'm gonna get this round. Here goes! Oh man! Again! That was you, man. You have the control. That was not me! Oh! That's disgusting, man! Oh! Again! Oh! Let's get this game over with before I suffocate here! Okay. One. Ah. Uh, two. Ah. Uh, three. Oh. I think it's stuck. I'm gonna have to help him out. Ah! Uh, you just ate the dog's poop, man. That's disgusting. Ah. Uh, hmm. Tastes kind of like. <laughs> okay guys so there is the game so I it's a tie between Rex and Rex so basically you would go longer I mean you've got two containers of food so if you went through both well two bags of food so if you went through both bags of food it would obviously take you longer ah Let's just run it through the dog a few times. I really want to take a closer look at this. It looks cool. So basically, you got to stuff the poor doggy. <laughs> you force the food into his mouth. You take the bone. You shove it in there. You leave it in there. And then you start pumping the handle. So let's see what little doggy does. Take a closer look here, guys. Oh, oh man! Here it comes! Oh, I blew right out! 
try that again. We're having some doggy poop issues, so we're gonna have to take this long one here and shove him right down the throat. Oh, that's pretty gross. We'll shove this right out the back end. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, let's take a closer look. Oh, man. That was gross. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Sorry guys, but this game is hilarious. If you want to do some really funny moves, you stuff in the poop from the back end, and then you push it, and <laughs> the whole thing just pops up. Okay, here is the doggy do game. It says when you gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> that looks hilarious. And here is what comes in the game. Let's check it out. It says, eat up, doggy. Roll the die. Squeeze his leash. What's that sound? What did he do? You win by collecting... Doggy do. <laughs> and this is one to four players because it comes with four shovels. And let's go ahead and open it up. Check it out. Okay, let's see what was inside here. You've got four shovels. You've got some stickers. you got a uh, dice. You put the stickers on. you got some uh, helpful hints. You've got the dog. And it looks like some dog food, the leash, and instructions. Okay, let's see what was in the package. Oh, he's starting without us! <laughs> okay, so you got like a long dog. It should be like a hot dog. And then you've got the leash, which is what you pump. And then you've got two bags of food. So it's like green slime food. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's resealable bags, so you could reseal it. You've got four shovels, blue, purple, green, and red. You've got the dye, so this is the food you would feed to the dog. You'd put the uh, food in here and mold it into the right shape. This bone here is what you use to push the food into the dog's mouth. And it comes with a super long rod too. So I guess this would be to clean out anything extra that was left inside. Hi guys, Walt Dinosaur here. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. And I know you're a member of my club. See you soon. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.